Monday, October 9th, 2023, a prayer of thanksgiving for Briar, Mummy, Ainsley, and me. We just finished having spent three hours together as the four of us. And at Mummy's place, I'm leaving with us smiling and laughing after recording so many funny videos together. And one of those videos, unintentionally, it actually captured spied mummy spying on us being our fun goofy selves, a dad with his daughters. It was just a wonderful, beautiful moment. So my wife cooked for me, she cooked my favorite. We're passing four white tail fellows there. My wife cooked my favorites for me. And you know, it's just something special. It's that ceremony. You know, your wife is in the kitchen. It just sounds right, it feels right, it smells right. You know, it's like you can hear her smile. And there must be something special for her too. You know, I don't know if she still calls me or considers me her husband, but if she does, if I am, it, it must feel special for her. Because there were several indications that that she was definitely appreciate appreciating the moment, the the rarity, the specialness, how long it's taken us to refind our footing or maybe even to find our footing as a, a family of four. She made sure I was well cared for, attended to, well fed, and she allowed me to upstairs in her home to help transfer our one daughter downstairs with her sore back and it must have went okay from her perspective because in the end I was allowed and invited to help my daughter, our daughter, back up to her, her room on the next level. You know, how do I find the words to describe how that felt just three hours near her and just feeling right and genuinely understanding and appreciating my place in my wife's home. At one point she even invited me to so you know, there's there's if you want seconds, just you know, help yourself, right? And I kind of looked at her and teased her, or teased our daughters and said, you know, like, nice try, that's a test. Daddy doesn't go in mommy's kitchen. And I just, I think that, that must have made her smile and maybe reassured that, okay, here's this silly old man. She met me as, as a teenager. Here's a man that maybe he is growing into a man, but also here's someone that's really put in the effort to reflect and to learn how he can fit in my life. And when I was helping our daughter up the stairs, just before I left, <clears throat> I stumbled 
on the stairs. It's a carpeted stair, so it's chronically slippery. Lost my footing. And so, of course, I instinctively I grab onto the banister and the railing to steady myself. And <laughs> my wife teased me. She's like, do not break the banister, right? I said, well, you know, you, you saw me. Like, I stumbled. She's like, I don't care. Take it on the ass. Do not. <laughs> This break my banners, but this banister has been broken so many times, you know, not not by me, but just over the years for different reasons that I wasn't aware of. And of course, for the next three minutes or so, just all four of us were just giggling and chuckling and howling with laughter about take it on the ass, like, and you know, save my banister, you can bruise yourself, just. I don't care Take it on the ass Just don't break my banister Take it on the ass Don't break my home Let your body break, but leave my home intact. I know you're strong, you're my husband, so take it on the ass. Leave me. Smiling and my children too. But don't you, oh, don't you break my 